As Russia continues to wage war on Ukraine, Ukrainian Americans here in New Mexico are feeling the impact thousands of miles away. And for one family, the strikes have hit especially close to home. News 13's Jamie Seymour is here tonight with their story. Jamie. Dr. Alexei Kozlov came to the U.S. from Ukraine in 1997 when he was just 10 years old, but still has many family and friends there. And through social media, he's seen the war ravage his homeland. In a dental practice nestled in the heart of the East Mountains. Well, this is three-dimensional way of designing crowns. Dr. Alexei Kozlov spends every day caring for his patients. If patients are on the same board of what we're doing, they will actually take ownership of their health and get it done. But throughout the practice are reminders of his homeland that led him to where he is now. I'm a Chernobyl baby, post-Soviet era. He immigrated to the U.S. in the late 90s at just 10 years old. But many family and friends remain in the Ukraine. Especially over the past two weeks, he's connected with them through social media whenever he's not with patients. But the war became all too real as he watched his home village destroyed by missiles. My village had no military bases, had no government locations, strategic buildings. It was a place of worship for many. Last week, as Russian forces took hold of the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant, missiles struck nearby villages, including that of Kozlov's family, destroying their home and killing his uncle. He was a deacon in the local church, so the house that got demolished was a place of refuge for many. From more than 6,000 miles away, he says the impact of every bomb and bullet is just as profound here in New Mexico as the urge to fight back becomes stronger. For the last two weeks, it's been difficult where I have had these feelings of like, okay, do I deploy to Ukraine and help out my brethren? Still, Kozlov says in his heart he's a healer, and that's what he'll continue doing from afar. That's my kind of vow to my, my patients in these mountains, that I'll take care of them. And by them coming here, uh, they will take care of my people back in Ukraine. While also helping his first home in any way he can. Dr. Kozlov is also working to raise funds for humanitarian aid to those in Ukraine, working directly with churches that are providing emergency aid and shelter for those displaced, cutting out any third parties. Back to you. All right, Jamie, thank you. Now, if you would like to donate, we have a link to the form on our website. That's it always on krqe.com.